Oh, well, sun's shining this morning. That's pretty cool, especially after yesterday where it rained all day long. I thought since the sun is shining, I'd head off to the lumber mill. I'd like to get me a couple of big skids to put under that building to uh, pick it up and drag it on, you know, or roll it on, or whatever, however I decide to do that. I wanted something nice and long and heavy to put under it. And uh, so I kind of set the garage up to work on the Toyota in there today, but uh, since the sun's shining, I thought it'd be a good day to run off the lumber mill and get some lumber. I need a little bit for buildings I'm contemplating anyway. And then I'll go ahead and have it. Maybe I can actually get some work done outside today. I'll save that inside body work for a day when it's maybe raining again. I don't know. I'm actually pretty lucky to have a lumber yard not too far from my house. I like using uh, sawmill lumber, uh, especially hemlock. block. A lot better than I like that store-bought lumber. You get it in a big box of lumber store, you know, where they plane oh, about a quarter of the wood away and then uh, I like to count a big solid chunk of wood when I'm getting a chunk of wood. I like to feel like I'm getting my money's worth. And I can generally get a good solid big piece of wood over here for a little less than I can get a board in some of them big stores, you know. So that's what I prefer to do when I can. When I can. That's what I'm thinking. Lots of places ain't lucky enough to have sawmills around. I know I was down at my boy's house a while back and was contemplating putting the floor in his attic. And talking about, you know, he put some one buys down on there. His uh, his dad-in-law said, well, you know, one buys wouldn't be heavy enough. And I said, well, it wouldn't be if you got it from a sawmill. And he's like, oh yeah, ain't no sawmills around here. I think sawmills is kind of a country thing. I don't think they have much in the city. I know OSHA came in and made the rules so hard that a lot of a lot of small sawmills had to shut down. I know I know people had sawmills up here for generations and generations, and then the rules got so strict. They couldn't run one no more because it cost so much money to try to pass all the regulations. That's that's pretty much the way everything's going nowadays. They just they just regulate the life out of everything just about. I suppose to keep people safer, but I don't know. It's funny, I looked at that Ford book the other day. They were showing how to siphon gas out of your car tank so you could pour it on a pile of wood and light a fire with it. And I'm thinking, oh, I should have a fit, you know. Back in the old days, people just did stuff at work. Nobody cared if you, you know, got a little gas in your mouth or you set yourself on fire and you're dumb enough to do that, that was your problem, you know. Nowadays, all oh, no, the lawyers, they'll sue you. You put out a book nowadays and teach somebody how to pull gas out of their car and not a fire with it, they'd probably sue you and everything else. So that's just the way the world's going. I think I think people are becoming more sissy by it because don't nobody know how to do anything of value much anymore. Cause Oh, it's breaking my skin or knuckles or something. You know? Don't get me started, okay? Well, I just remember there's a nice old Jeep down here in the woods for sale. Uh, I'll just swing the camera around there so as you can see it. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. I must have it. It's a pretty morning this morning. Look at the mist lifting off uh, in down in the valley over by the trees over there. Oh, that's awful nice. I feel lucky to live where I do. I do. Yeah, you can see the mist in the valley there. All right, that's 10, 16 foot tuba 12s, and two 10 foot tuba 8s. Hemlock, rough sawn, 90 bucks. I just don't think you can beat a deal like that. I love this place. The thing about hemlock, it's rugged. It is a, you put a bunch of, well, I, that floor in the back of my garage is floored with hemlock. And uh, y'all see me drive the Ford on it. It's obviously some tough stuff. Just one more reason why I'm glad I live here. We doggies. All right, let's get this on.